All right, welcome to part three of my video series looking at Carl Bau's creation in the 21st century. This episode, called Evolution Expelled, features Dr. Joseph Mastropalo. Um, I'm going to try to, I mean, this is actually going to be the shortest one of these series that I've done so far. I'm going to easily fi finish it up in three parts. Uh, so he has done, he's gone through, a, I'm going to skip right to where he talks about his, what's called the Life Science Prize. And I'm going to let him talk, and then I'll explain exactly what that means. And the last time I was here, I may have mentioned that we had asked more than 57. Correct. Now it's more than 150. More than 150 leading evolutionary scholars. What, what did you ask them? I asked them if they had any evidence to support evolution. And I gave them a counterclaim. I said, you do not have because evolution is a Gia religion it's based on superstition yes. there is absolutely no science behind it now they had a claim that they had to answer they had as choices contend against that claim disavow evolution or go on the list as a defaulter because they did not uh, uh, defend themselves right. against the claim they all defaulted. They all defaulted. So they're on the list. Here we have Eugenie Scott, head of the National Science Educational Program, Richard Dawkins, the world's best known atheist of this day, even Stephen Hawking. These are major names, and you contacted all of them. They gave no response to actually give evidence supporting evolution not a single one now i have to, now when you when you hear him describe it this sounds like a fairly reasonable thing right he's asking he what did he telephone dawkins or all these other scientists these 300 plus scientists call them up on the phone and go hey do you have any have any actual evidence for evolution and they refused to answer or said no um you know is that what happened is that how this worked is that what you know was that how this went but why how he describes it, you certainly would think that that's the case. However, um, go to his website, and I will put a link down below. If you go to his website, you see that the challenge is a little bit more complex than simply giving him or providing him some evidence for evolution. Okay, that's not what he's asking for. What he's actually asking for is that you, as a debater, put up $10,000 in escrow. He will put up $10,000 in escrow. And then you conduct your debate in a court trial before a superior court judge, okay? Um, and then the judge will award $20,000 to whoever wins the challenge. That's what this comes down to. So he didn't ask people, do you have evidence for evolution? No, he asked people, will you do this? And of course, any person, reasonable, any intelligent person is going to look at it and go, fuck no. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, now here's a little fact that Master Paolo seems to, he ignored, he's been pointed out to him repeatedly, and he just keeps on ignoring, is the fact that I cannot settle, okay? I cannot go to court and choose a judge and choose a courtroom to settle some discussion I'm having with somebody, okay? That's not the way it works, okay? It's not, the, the challenge is not legal. You can't just do that. Um, you can sue somebody and then have your, your pros and cons, your, your points in, for your whatever, but you just can't go. You can't say, you know what, um, you know, my neighbor says that this is the best kind of car and I think that's the best kind of car. Well, we're going to go to court and settle it. You don't – that's not – it doesn't work that way, and he knows it doesn't work that way. His challenge is impossible, and he has this thing – he doesn't just say by, – by refusing his debate, he doesn't just say – um, it's not just that you'd refused it. No, he's got this long list of things he posts on his website that by, by refusing to participate, you're admitting that evolution is a fraud, a farce, a religion, and that you are worshippers of Gaia and all of the, whatever the other, there's a bunch of other crap to it. In other words, it's, 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 it's utterly ridiculous. Um, he's not only challenged people to this, I, I cut out the bit, he, he also challenged um, a number of, of scientific organizations and universities as well, collectively, asking them to, to do this challenge. And again, it's not, I, if, if he would be, if he would have said to debate in a debate forum, he would have had a significant, although a lot of people won't, won't debate these kinds of things, he would have had challengers. The fact that he did this specifically in this format, which cannot be done, 
he specified a, a legal courtroom format, a, a, a setup that simply is impossible. Um, his challenge is rendered in, impossible. Okay, if, if that makes sense. Okay, he's he's made an impossible challenge that if you look into it and find out it's impossible, and some of these people did respond back to him. I will put a link again down below. Uh, Richard Dawkins actually. Uh, Responded back to him Even though Richard Dawkins doesn't do these kinds of debates Richard Dawkins said That if you're going to be debating scientific evidence Or weighing it Then the there should not just be a judge It should be a somebody qualified To listen to or to discuss scientific evidence You know, it should be a panel of judges Chosen for scientific credentials Which of course he said Ha, you know, you want to stack with evolutionists Ah, whatever And he put them on the loser category Um it, it, I'll, Dawkins tells the story much better than that, but the point of it is, is it's this is just this is it's kind of like Kent Hovind's challenge. It's kind of you know it's one of those things. It's put out as a as an unwinnable challenge that you just put out there, and then when anybody you know sort of questions your credibility, you can go look at this prize. Nobody's taken this prize yet. Therefore, my viewpoint is true science, and their viewpoint is not. Now these are the losing strategies. These are the winning strategies. Let's attack evolution itself, not put up something in contention with it. These are the outlaw public schools. They violate the education code, the First Amendment. They fire people and remove them when we convince them yes. that evolution is incorrect. And so what we find is that we have to use legislative uh, strategies. And it Am I actually going to piss on the church? That'd be quite a statement. Yeah, baby, here I go. Richard Dawkins walks the walk, but does he actually follow through with an actual act of piss?